In this video, I want to introduce you to another free tool from RC Consulting. Now this is a little bit more of a geeky tool, so if this isn't really your thing, feel free to skip this video and we'll catch you again next week with something a little bit more generic. This week's tool is a layout optimization tool for the FileMaker platform. Now starting with FileMaker 12, they start incorporating these themes and styles into the product. Now we've done a number of videos over the last year, some of which are free, some of which are in our training series where we talk about custom themes and shared styles. Now what's interesting about this tool is that one of my engineers, Mike Wallace, was complaining that there wasn't really a good tool that could dive in and tear apart all the local instances of CSS that are on a layout and tell him how many instances he had and basically clean up all the local uh, CSS for him. And so of course being uh, the kind of guys rocket science like that he decided to build a tool that would do that. And so we're giving this away. It's totally an unlock file and you can download it from RCC's website. It's not a problem. So to show you how this works I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to uh, pick on the progress bar file here. This is a great uh, little sample file. I did a demo on this uh, a little while back and it's a great tool for those of you who haven't seen this. This is the progress bar uh, tool from Excelsis and uh, we did a demo on this. This is a great tool. It allows you to do progress bars in FileMaker. I'm going to go to layout mode here. I'm going to select all and copy. The reason I'm doing this is it's a, a simpler layout. It'll demo quickly. I just select all and copy. I'm going to close it and then I'm going to go over this tool here and I'm going to simply say load from clipboard and instantaneously it analyzed that there are 62 layout objects which contain 53 instances of local CSS. Now that may seem to be high to you. It just depends upon what your standards are for the amount of CSS you have. Obviously, the less local CSS you have, the less local overrides you have, uh, the better off you'll be. Now, in this video, I'm not going to explain the benefits of using custom themes and shared styles. That's not the point here. Uh, this video is kind of a continuation of that concept. So if you uh, want to know about that, um, I would recommend you dive into my training series at learningfilemaker.com. Or if you want, you could jump to our uh, video on WebDirect where we start talking about optimizing for WebDirect because that's really dependent upon custom themes and shared styles when we really talk about this topic. Well, this tool allows you to help uh, optimize your layouts, especially if your layouts came from originally FileMaker 11 or earlier. Uh, they're really helpful for that. So anyway, this tool allows you to press this button and it does some analysis for you. Um, we have another video where I talk to Mike about this and we get into the under the hood aspects of what it does. And effectively, it creates a report here for us of the local CSS. And it's uh, done a lot of cleanup here. Once again, we discussed that in more detail in the other video, but we have the ability to, to save this report here. So this is a report on the progress bar uh, file which is a great file, but it's got a little bit of local CSS, but it runs really fast. It's a great file. The Excelsis and Andy Persons did a great job on that. So I say store report. It saves the report for us permanently in this file, so that way we don't have to do that analysis again that you just saw. And then what it does is actually allows us to see the optimizations here, and we talk about how to read that a little bit here. Uh, you press this button right here, and then it goes through and it finds the like CSS that's being duplicated. And so you start to see the number of duplicates that you have in here. Um, and once again, on files where there's more duplicates and more sizing, uh, you see that you would save more space in the file. So that's kind of what this is all about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go back to my menu here. Now, one of the other things that you can do is actually have this tool over here completely strip the local CSS out of the objects that you copied over here. So imagine if you could automatically just clean out all the local CSS over here for you automatically. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to select all the objects over here on the layout, everything, select all and copy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layout mode here. I'm going to duplicate a layout. Then I'm going to select all and delete. So I have a blank layout. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to load into the clipboard again. And then I'm going to say clear local CSS. So I've gone from here down to here. Then I come back over here and I say paste. And here you can see we pasted in all the objects without any local overrides. Now I'm going to pop a new window right here. 
and jump back real quick to the original. You can see there's a little bit of change here, but what you can do then is work on updating just the objects that need essential changes and then make sure that those objects share a common style, if that makes sense. Once again, go back to the training at learningfilemaker.com for detailed information about custom themes and shared styles, about the optimization and tremendous performance improvements that you'll get, especially over a wide area network connection, especially with FileMaker Go, and especially with WebDirect. But the result is, is that this layout right here will render and download much faster than this one right here. Of course, if this one had tremendous amounts of local CSS, like gobs and gobs, then this one right here would run much, much, much faster. As it is, I don't think there'd be that much of a performance improvement in this one situation. But I picked a lightweight example to show you how this tool worked over here. So there you go, it's a little bit of a geeky tool but it's something free, it's unlocked. If you're a hardcore developer and you want to tear it apart and make improvements, maybe release an updated version out to the community, feel free to do so. Post your results to one of the online forums. So that's it from RCC. This is Richard Carlton signing off. We'll see you next week. Hey.